going on everybody welcome back to the channel I have some six cents stuff in here but first let's get into this one oh oh wow of course mystery bag right mystery bag number one what do we have uh -huh. that's right waterland sunglasses angler born that's right i got some waterland sunglasses i needed some really good quality glasses at affordable price so i'm not breaking the bank right and when i get uh -huh, uh -huh. These are called Ashner. These are black with the green mirrored lenses. Oh, they're so new. Look at that. Look at those water lens. Really nice. I like the. Oh, yeah. See, it helps block in some of the, the light that goes in here, especially when we're, uh, you know, fishing those on the bed or in the stumps or or anything of that nature these are fantastic so waterlands they come with the hard case and a little uh cloth there these are pretty awesome this is my new waterlands you'll see these in the video more and more you won't see the other ones the waterlands also what i have in this video besides those this is six cents super six sack or the six sack subscription sack you all know what it is oh little little blue today huh little blue this is for the month of april the six stack oh this is a plum flick we're gonna throw these i'm telling you i'm gonna throw these coming up soon i'm gonna go to I'm telling you when i go to uh illinois fish that look at that curly tail worm very nice obviously the grooves here to make the water go across it it goes out to a flat ribbon tail and on the very end as you can see there it's got a little grooves in the back so it can this is going to be money. This is the Bosa Ribbon Tail 9.6. There's five. This is a five pack. And the color is Plum Flick. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen. Plum Flick. That's when you get on down there and you Carolina rig. Those in there. Ha! Huh. Yes, this is so cool. I love this color too. This is a Provoke 106X Bloodline. I like the color to it. And I'll show you why. Who would have thought putting red on a jerk bait? The little shad dot. The patterns on there. Oh, I'm missing an eye. I'm gonna have to contact them. They're like, hey, I'm missing an eye out of here. This one does not have an eye. And it's not in the box. That's all right, I'll let them know. Anyway, it's broke. Jerk bait, premium hooks. There you go. This is your, obviously your shallow diver jerk bait. It's gonna run, you know, anywhere from, uh, 
Oh, this is a slow float suspending. I think it's because of the water. Three to six feet. I do like the color on it, though. That red, you never see red jerk baits. Never. I mean, there is, I have one, I think, from. But there we go. Bloodline, jerk bait. Next up, Swank 77. It's kind of like the Hybrid Hunter, but it's the Swank series from the 6th. Your boil crawfish. Look at that lip. That lip right there helps to get a hunting action. Oh, this all this one dives to. It's a hunting action. This is a three quarter ounce, and it dives to two to five feet. Really great for grass. If you're taking the tops of grass, that is an amazing color. Next up, oh, and something I was going to talk about that I'll be doing here pretty soon. This is a one ounce black pre Carolina rig. This one here, pretty sweet. I'm actually going to set up one of my rods for this when I go this weekend. Uh, so the end of April, I have a tournament in Illinois. I'm going to throw a Carolina rig. So that will come in handy for show. And along with that Carolina rig, I would use my juggler five out hooks with the bait that Ben Milliken had um, won his tournament on. And that's gonna be the hog walla. So then we got oh this one's cool. This is your finesse square square bill it dives three or dives up to three feet so one to three feet very tiny this would be really great in these rivers and systems and everything else it's got a matte finish this here is called the tiger truce curve 55 finesse square bill anyway you can hear the rattles in it the matte finish very nice square bill Really good for that muddy water. They can locate it. That one's pretty good. I like that one. That was sweet. Curve for that square bill, 55 millimeter. Three eighths ounce. One to three feet. Tiger Truce. Oh, last but not least is a crush 50x this dives two to five feet three eighths ounce this is called blue truce shad this is pretty this is a pretty, pretty good killer color right here i can get it out today this is a killer color this one i might use there in illinois as well they have a lot of dirty water in those ponds Look at that collar. You got the blue back. Down your white with the chartreuse on the side with your dots. Very nice. Premium hooks. Good square bill. Nice little 50 crush. Crush 50X. Square bill. Dives two to five feet. So... That is all I got for this bag for the month of April. As everyone knows that um, I'm excited about getting out there, getting the, getting uh, getting these things. We'll go through these baits. I'll tell you which one my favorite is. Uh, I'll save my favorite to last. I'm still debating here. Everyone knows my favorites are sunglasses, but you know, out of this bag for six cents, this is what I'm going to do. Okay. So start off, we got the Crush 50X, two to five feet. You got your Blue True Shot. Swank 77X, three quarter ounce. 
two to five feet good for that broil crawfish pattern especially over that grass you got your matte finish finesse square bill curve 55 that one is your tiger truce very nice color and you got your carolina pre-rig which this is a one ounce it's black you pair that up with your juggler five eye hooks along with your hog wallace or you pair it up with these right here this is the plum fleck ribbon tail 9.6 i love this this is probably there are two favorites in this this one right here which i don't fish curly tail worms all that much but i'm kind of interested in trying it so there's that one and this one here one of my favorites this is the provoke 106x slow float suspending jerkbait in that bloodline with the red shad color that red that rose red on top fantastic this can be really good in that cloudy water because of that it's not translucent but it has a little bit of uh solid opaque to it so and then last but not least you know that's it for the sack obviously that those ribbon tail worms and the amazing waterland polarized sunglasses can't wait to get these out on the water i like i said i got the ashner ashner black with the green ones check those guys out i will leave in the description below i will leave a code from uh justin royal he's going to he said i can uh, throw his code out there for him uh for the sack it's going to be jr6 sack and for the um for anything else like the sunglasses or anything else from the website of six cents you can use a jr10 for the win so uh i'll kick those down there like i said in the description below let me know in the comment section which one was your favorite i enjoy talking tackle with you guys I do try to give you guys a different perspective. Uh, I did fish in a tournament, uh, Vance Outdoors tournament here in the local area. That is no, that one's done and over with. Now I'll be going to, uh, I gotta go to Illinois to fish in that tournament, and then I go to Indiana to fish in that tournament. It's a veterans tournament. And then I will go to another one. Uh, I got a few more I got to go to. But, uh, you know, as always, thank you for clicking on this video. Thank you for swinging by. We are out of here.